Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to obtain the inverse of a 4x4 matrix using Kishu calculator. So we go to menu, look for the matrix function. The fault function. So we can first define the matrix. So for example, if we have one matrix, we can simply use any matrix that we like so for example we choose matrix one then we will have four rows one two three four so this is four rows and one two three four four columns so we enter key in the value accordingly so zero equal Two equal negative one equal zero equal four equal four equal negative one equal two equal negative one equal two equal three equal one equal three equal negative two equal zero equal and one equal after we have done everything we press the button ac so we go to option and we look for matrix a since we input everything in the matrix a so number three then we press inverse so we obtain the answer so this is the inverse However, if we use this method, most probably we will lose a lot of mass because we have only the final answer without the intermediate steps. Third, what I usually do is I will make use of a 3x3 three three function instead of 4x4. Four four. So I will first change the matrix to its transpose. So meaning to say we change row to column column to row to obtain the transpose after that we determine the end joint meaning to say we have to find the call factor for each and three if we have to find the call factor for zero then what we have to do here is we will hide the first column and hide the first row so this entries is going to be determined to obtain their core factor then what we have to remember here is the enjoy for the plus minus sign must be alternative so we will have plus minus plus minus then plus minus plus minus minus plus minus plus and so on then we will make use of the calculator function so we can first reset everything then we have so we reset then we have function metric function the default function we use matrix a then now we use three by three matrix so we will input the core factor so we have four two negative two negative one three zero two one and one then also the same we press the ac button we look for the option button then we look for determinant means that we have to press the down button to go to determinant then we choose the determinant then we press again the option button then we look for matrix a since we input this matrix in matrix a 
then we obtain 28 so we will copy the value 28 here then we repeat the same same step for the second call factor so again we press option now we should edit the matrix that we enter so two then matrix a so we have found two so as we can see the second column and the third column exactly the same so meaning to say we just have to edit the first column so we have negative one and zero so once we already done same ac now look again for option then determinant two then option again matrix a so determinant of matrix a then we obtain 10 however we should remember must be alternative the plus minus sign so we have plus minus so negative times positive we have negative then we repeat the same steps for all the core factors then we obtain the android of matrix a then we proceed to determine the determinant to obtain the determinant what i usually do here is i will refer to the first entry and refer to the first entry of the android and transpose respectively so 0 for the transpose 28 for the android so what we do times together then we have the seconds and the second so what to do times together then the third and the third times together then we have the fourth and the fourth so once we already times everything together we just have to plus together then we obtain negative 4 then the last step here is we take the 1 over determinant means that 1 over 4 times the enjoy then we obtain the inverse so we have the steps marked as well okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope like this see you